When you distill off, you get an aldehyde. And when you heat under reflux, you get a carboxylic acid. Now that's the difference. So as we are using K2Cr2O7, which is uh, potassium dichromate in this example, uh, the observation that we will get, this is very important because they often ask this observation in the paper, is a color change from orange to green. So potassium dichromate is initially orange, but once the oxidation happens, the oxidation reaction happens, the color changes to green. And the reaction taking place is, so we use the bracket O for the oxidizing agent. Uh, instead of writing K2Cr2O7, we will use the bracket O. And you can see that this primary alcohol, primary alcohols are basically uh, uh, the carbon atom which is, attached to a, which is attached to the alcohol group is attached to only one carbon atom in turn. So you can see that this carbon atom which is attached to the alcohol group is attached to only one carbon atom. So it's a primary alcohol and it oxidizes uh, to give you an aldehyde when you're heating and distilling off. So aldehyde plus water. So you, you use ethanol. In this example, we use ethanol. And uh, we oxidize it to give uh, uh, to give ethanol, which is an aldehyde. So ethanol oxidizing to give ethanol. Now let's move forward. So we are done with this reaction. Oxidation of aldehydes. So uh, so now I'll explain to you why we have a different uh, we have a difference in conditions between the oxidation of primary alcohols to form aldehydes and to form carboxylic acids. So why do we have this distill off and why we have the reflux for carboxylic acids? Now what happens is that uh, when you oxidize an, alde uh, an alcohol, a primary alcohol under reflux, when you oxidize a primary alcohol under reflux, it first forms the aldehyde and then the aldehyde oxidizes in turn to form a carboxylic acid. But when you're heating and distilling off, you first form the aldehyde and because the aldehyde has a lower boiling point than the alcohol, it will, it will boil away from the container. So it cannot further oxidize to form an alcohol. So the reason why we use uh, to, form an, to form a carboxylic acid, I'm sorry. So the reason why we use uh, heating and distilling off to form an aldehyde is just to prevent it from oxidizing further to a carboxylic acid. So you, this is very important for you to note. An alde, uh, an alcohol, a primary alcohol oxidizes to form an aldehyde, which further oxidizes to form carboxylic acids. But if you heat and distill off, you will prevent this further oxidation. So what you will get is the aldehyde and not the carboxylic acid. So when you oxidize an aldehyde, you use an aldehyde and of course an oxidizing agent. You heat under reflux because you want to oxidize the aldehyde. You want to further oxidize it and you heat under reflux. So you get a carboxylic acid. Now you, you can see that from ethanol, you get ethanoic acid. So uh, we are done with this. Oxidizing of aldehydes give us carboxylic acid. Oxidation, I mean oxidation of aldehydes give us carboxylic acids. So let's move forward. Now, reduction of aldehydes. So when we oxidize a primary alcohol, we get an aldehyde. So obviously, if we reduce an aldehyde, we should get the primary alcohol back. So there are two different uh, reducing agents. Sorry, we, there are two different reducing agents that we can use. LiAlH4 and NaBH, NaBH4. So uh, LiAlH4 is a strong reducing agent. NaBH4 is a weak reducing agent. So th there is a difference in conditions while using these two. So when we use LiAlH4, the condition that we use is uh, that the LiAlH4 should be in dry ether. We do not have to use any high temperatures or anything. This reaction happens at room temperature, but the LiAlH4 should be dissolved in dry ether. The LiAlH4 is a reducing agent. And as you can see, upon reduction, we get back the alcohol, the primary alcohol. Now, when we, when we reduce it with NaBH4, so we have to heat and the NaBH4 should be aqueous. So this time you can see we have to heat, which automatically shows that NaBH4 is weaker as a reducing agent 
than LiAlH4. So my favorite reducing agent is LiAlH4. Uh, but you will see why we why they have why we have different. Uh,